ECDL Advanced Word Lesson 78 Assigning a Macro to a Button To make the process of running popular macros more efficient it's possible to assign a macro to a button on the ribbon or the quick access toolbar. A new tab group must be created on the ribbon to contain the macro button. The name and appearance of the button can be customised. We're starting with a new document and we're going to select File and then Options, Options at the bottom there, and then Customise Ribbon. An alternative would be to use the Quick Access Toolbar to add the button. If we did, there'd be no need to create a new group. We're going to continue with Customising Ribbon. If we look on the right hand side for the Layout tab, click on it to select it and then within there we're going to put a new entry which is called macros so new group we're going to rename it and then in the rename dialog box we're going to call it macros and then press OK the layout section already contained page setup paragraph and arrange what we've done now is added in one within the layout section so it'll appear on the layout tab called macros. If we now move over to the choose commands from section on the left hand side click on the down arrow and select macros and this will show all the macros that have been created. The one we're going to be using is the table header so select the one that ends with the word table header and then add to add it to the ribbon itself. It's now been added to the macros section of the layout tab. Let's rename it. We're going to give it a name to describe the function of the macro. So this one is to do with tables so we're going to call it table in the display name and then press OK. We also want an icon to be associated with it so let's find a smiley face this one will do over here and now press OK. Press OK again to return to Word. Now if we select the layout tab we'll now find that we have a macros section and it has a smiley face with the word table. If we wish to run the macro, just click the button. And we'll see that a table has been created. It has five columns and two rows. The first row has the days of the week, centralized and bold. If we press tab until we've spilt over the first page, what we will see is that the header row has been replicated on each of the pages. Next, we're now going to remove the button and the new group from the ribbon. To do this, all we need to do is right click on the button, select Customize the ribbon, select the table button, that's over here, and then remove. We also want to remove the macro group so select this entry here for the macro group and then remove and now the group is removed along with the button itself. Clicking OK will action this so the button will then be removed so if we look at the top we should find it's being removed when we press OK. Done. Now this did remove the macro button but it didn't delete the macro itself if we want to delete macros, display the view tab, click on macros to view all the created macros. For the purposes of this we're going to select table header and then we can press delete and then confirm. To finish off let's delete all the other macros close 
and then close the document without saving. OK, well done. You've got to the end of the Word manual. And if you have any interest in some of the other work I'm putting together, there's also a module that's going to be made available for PowerPoint and also Excel and finally Access. So hopefully we should cover the four main programs that are needed for office productivity. Okay, look forward to seeing you when we come to the new course. Thank you.